Hello there, everybody. Welcome on into today's video. Greatly appreciate you taking time out of your day. So we're going over, check it on out. Um, Red Velvet's The Velvet Album is what we're going to be checking out today. Now, we didn't have subtitles on the uh, One of These Nights MV, so interesting to see what lyrics we have. It seemed like a sad song to me, um, just based off of the visuals and the tone uh, they were singing with. We'll find out. We'll find out. Um, but there are going to be eight songs now. If you have never joined me on a deep dive before, one, thank you for joining me on this one. Two, when there is an album, I try to listen to the entire album. So that means if there's any special um additional versions of songs instrumentals etc i want to get the whole album vibe that they release so we do have three of the three different versions of one of these nights at the end just to give you all a heads up we're going to listen to the whole thing so we have one of these nights um cool hot sweet love light me up first time and then what is it? Rose Scent Breeze? Interesting. I wonder if this is a ballad. Is this a ballad album again? Am I just going to have a time? Um, then we do have the three different versions of one of these nights. We have the uh, Decapo version, the Joe Millionaire, and then the piano version. That's what we'll be checking out today. Other than that, no other news. I uh, pretty much have said it in a previous video because this is the same hoodie. As you can see, I'm doing a little gremlin recording for uh, Red Velvet. Um, had a couple of days off, so here we are. And it was snowing the other day, so yeah, that's about it. Okay, let's do it. Oh, I am good. I love the violin in this. What an intro. Really sets the tone to the song. Oh, that little reverb. Baby, one of these days, one of these years, 
Sing it. Yes. the kick in the bass coming in. What a gorgeous song. Literally stunning song. Everybody's vocals so good. Kidding me? I love that little line from Joy where she just had a little bit of a vocal reverb towards the end. Oh, so pretty. So good. And then I just love Wendy's tone so much. So, so much. Great song. I knew it was a sad song. Reading the lyrics, I'm like, okay, yeah, no, it's a, it's like a breakup song or a post breakup song type situation here. Oh man, this was a title track too. What? I can't wait to hear the other renditions of this.
the background? When do you need to Okay, that was different from uh, the other song. Oh, righty then, what is happening? Um, right, okay. What is this album vibe so far? I can't even place a finger on it. I can't even make an educated guess. I've just gotten two do completely different songs. Um thoroughly happy that we had some highlight rap from joy and yuri yes yuri has a very interesting rap tone to me it's a little bit on the higher register rap wise where joy and irene tend to have a little bit on the lower register for rap um i've heard irene go high too but she so far what i've been hearing is more of a uh lower type register so having that mix of yuri having a higher rap tone adds a little extra flavor to the song i enjoy that a lot it was a good song really good song i think i have a special clip of this oh no i don't even know what that's gonna be like i have a performance of it tonight i want to light up the world between It's always dangerous when Wendy comes in and just starts talking to you in the beginning of the song. I've learned that just in a few albums. What is that? Beat was what was that? <laughs> I'm okay. It's fine. So many unique beats in the background. That was a ping pong in my ear.
Ooh, love that end note. Okay, before we start that, love that end note from Solgi. That was great. Um, I'm sensing an R and B type vibe, sound, style, and vocals throughout this album so far. I'm not sure if that's the just the velvet side is that why the album is called the velvet this we're getting the velvet and the red was earlier which is the time um more upbeat and then the velvet is more sultry r and b and then we have the funky fun pop of the red is that the connection i'm now making I think so. Yep. Mmm. I do really enjoy a good violin in a song. Valentine, let's go. All right. <laughs> Album. Today I realized. Oh gosh. How much I really love you. Okay. Thanks, Wendy. First time. Um, is just a little vocal uh flexing, I would say. Just uh just based off of these songs. 
they're out here just giving it all, just everything. Damn. <laughs> what? All right. Interesting. Very interesting. I definitely can see the velvet side of things here. We're in the, the little velvet journey. Oh, that's right. This is a uh, only the three of them. Interesting. Love the piano. Love it. Oh, up a, up a beat with the violins. All right, all right. vocals that they're giving me or something else like damn Harmony in the background. What a gorgeous ass song, damn. I think good electric guitar now? What is happening? Damn. 
I am floored. What the heck? Oh, uh, do I need like tissues for red velvet? Like, do I need to have them on standby? I'm over here just like tearing up. What the hell? That song was gorgeous. Damn. Their vocals in this song, the three of them. Are you kidding me right now? I'm over it. I'm I'm done. I'm done. This is it. Oh god. No one said that I should have potential tissues on standby. I got warnings for other groups. You guys don't warn me about them. What the hell? <sighs> Stunning song. Jeez. Oh boy. What the heck? I, there, I literally lost for words. Lost for words. It was so good. So good. The three of them vocally. Amazing. I loved hearing more of Joy. Her vocals, something else. Too. Sully and, and Wendy have already proven that. In the earlier albums, but to hear more vocals from Joy was literally a complete, complete joy to hear. Damn. Damn. What? Okay, what's next? Okay. And the three different versions. I don't think there, no, there's no 60s. It's fine. This higher note, like register for Sulgi, is just, and then she drops down. Ooh. Interesting. A tick. Back and forth. <laughs> What the heck? Okay. Ooh, more of that bass.
interesting mix on the song. Very interesting. They added a, the mix added a little bit more of a back bass to it. Ooh. Bring these two different versions back to back is something else. Okay, so the Joe Millionaire version has a little bit more of a housey beat. Slight, not full. was good. Kung 
I'm still obsessed with that little change from Soulgate, going from that higher tone to the, that lower register. It sounds so freaking good. Three completely different songs. interesting that you can have th basically three different versions and they sound complete they give you a different feel each single one personally i think i like the this version the piano version and the joe millionaire version the best out of the three those two um i feel like the piano version you were able to feel a little bit more of their vocals, just the emotion behind them, just emphasized it. And I just like the the vibe of the Joe Millionaire version, but it's so good. This album is not prepared. You guys did not warn me about Rose Secret Breeze there, or Scent, Rose, Rose Scent Breeze? Yeah, Rose Scent Breeze was not ready for that one not at all this definitely was if i had to take the, the educated guess from what you've all told me this was def the beginning 
of the velvet side or an extent of the velvet side of them having the R&B sultry vibe emotion vibe where the red is more of the the um, upbeat pop um, whimsical is that a good term for it whimsical um, side of them because I'm just I still think I was in some sort of fever dream with rookie um, and then we went to this so that that's that album is coming up in a little bit and that's gonna be also a nice little time there but love it great I this could be one of those albums for me my brain could only handle um sometimes I'm not 100% I will re-listen to the album a couple of times more but my brain has to be in the mood for a ballad slow song um, to fully appreciate sometimes. And I'll find myself skipping if I'm not in the right mood. I'm not sure. There are some songs in here I think I, I think Sweet Love, uh, Cool Hot Sweet Love. Well, I'm that one was that was a that was a jam. And then Emotionally Wrecked by uh, Rose Scent Breeze. It's fine. Everything's great. Hi, Oliver. You comfy? Um, well, thank you, guys. I really appreciate you uh, swinging in. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know your thoughts. What were your favorites from uh, the album? And so let me know if I'm on the right track for the two different sides of them. Because everybody told me when I first was planning the deep dive for red velvet that i was going to get two different sides of them the red side and the velvet side and i feel like this is definitely the velvet side based off the one the title of the album um and to the vibe so thank you once again hopefully you have a fantastic rest of your day and bye ollie yeah he's leaving too um and i will catch you on that next one later <laughs>